Hi there, and welcome back to Fragments of Infinity, What They Didn't Teach You in Music School. And uh, I state in my book that um, in order to get through it and get something out of it, um, you really do need to have the basics, and the basics would include nothing to do with note reading, because note reading truly has nothing to do with music theory itself. It's just a uh, an interface to music just the way an instrument would be, like a piano or a guitar. Uh, it gives you a visual representation, but then so does, a, so does a piano keyboard. It gives you a clear representation of how the notes relate to each other, and so on and so forth. Um, note reading should, as far as I'm concerned, in music school, should come later on. It's kind of, it's secondary to understanding what's under the hood in music, and that's what we're about to uh, get into is what is under the hood. Now, I said you should have the basics such as uh, the circle of fifths, the 12 major keys, uh, the notes of the 12 major keys. You should have the um, uh, idea of intervals and interval naming, which would be perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major second, minor second, all that stuff. Uh, how chords are extended, so on and so, so forth. However, in order to teach people, I, I didn't, uh, I tried to make it easier for people, so I came up with different ways to, to do some of the basic stuff. And so I'm going to be presenting basics here. And the first subject we're going to touch on is the all important whole step, half step formula, which I refer to as the WH formula. It's just easier to write down on paper and say. So what exactly is the whole step, half step formula? Well, if you took the C scale on the piano, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, let me demonstrate actually, this way you might get an idea. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna play the C scale on one string, all right? So um, here's a C note. Okay, now, if you look at the distances between the notes from Do to Re, there's a note in between. And then from Re to Mi, there's a note in between. But from Mi to Fa, oh sorry, there's no note in between Mi and Fa, but we still get Do, Re, Mi, Fa. And then we go up and notice from Fa to Sol is a whole step. And from sol to la is a whole step, and from la to t is a whole step, then finally t to do is another half step. So we get this arrangement. And of course, you know the sound of that scale, you've heard it before. Uh, now, if we were to like kind of map out the uh, frequency or the sequence of whole steps and half steps that happen here. When we talk about a whole step, that means a whole step is a step where there's a note in between. A half step is when they're adjacent and there's nothing in between. Okay, so um, if we map out our formula that way we get whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Two holes and a half three holes and a half, all right? all right? That's what gives us our basic scale. And remember, that do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do sound comes from nature itself. So now, there are 12 different notes in our system, from C to B. And uh, we can apply that whole step, half step formula to any one of these notes and thereby create uh, a particular key. So, for example, uh, what we just did was whole, what we just did was whole, whole, half, whole, 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 and then when we come back to C, that's another half step. So, um, that we just demonstrated is the key of C. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, and then back to C is do, and that's the half step. It's uh, basically that simple. Now, if I want to create, for example, the key of, um, well, we don't have it long enough, like we can't do other keys because we have to go to the next octave, but let's say the key of F. We'd go whole step, whole step, and then half step. Notice A to B flat is a half step, okay? 
So uh, that's what I'm talking about here is we could create 12 different keys. And what I'm going to do with this whole step half step formula is show you um, something you could do on paper that you can easily create the notes of any particular key you want to create. Now why is this important? Because after this I'm going to show you how to extract the chords of these various keys. And when we enter into deeply into the major minor key system, uh, we'll be able to figure out how we can interact between these keys, which as I mentioned before, this kind of interaction between different keys could not happen before the major minor key system, which was developed pretty much soon after temperament was developed. Okay, so that's that for that. So let's, uh, let's look at the, the three steps to easily creating a key. Step one. All right, let's use, uh, let's come up with an example key. Let's, uh, let's talk about the key of D. How do we find the notes of the key of D? Well, the first thing we have to know is the musical alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then back to A again. That's our musical alphabet. Only goes up to G, thank God. If it went up to Z, we'd have some problems. Um, all right, so we want to create the key of D. Now, we always use the key of C as our template, our starting place. So in other words, the half steps that existed in, C, in the key of C between Mi and Fa, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, C, D, E, F. E and F is a half step. The rest are whole, except when we go further up, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C is another half step. So if you memorize E, F, B, C as the template half steps from the key of C, you'll be doing well. All right. Uh, so the three easy steps to creating a key. First step is from the musical alphabet, you name your letter of the key you want to create. For our purpose, we're going to discuss the key of D, just arbitrarily. So on paper, you write down D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D as such. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, all right? And you notice there's hyphens between notes, between E and F and B and C, there are hyphens. And those are denoting the pre-existing half steps in the key of C. All right, now we... We, we just figured out, we just got the formula, WWH, WWWH, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So step one is you write out your alphabet all the way up to the octave, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, for the, in this case for the key of D. Second step, place the whole step, half step formula underneath between the notes. I'm going to do that right now. Now we have WWH, WWWH. Now notice the hyphens between E and F and B and C. Those came from the key of C. And that situation is going to change as we build the key of D. Now the key of D, first of all, between D and E, that naturally occurs oh, as a whole step. So, Actually, what we're doing right now is we did the second step, which is to write the whole step, half step formula underneath. Now we're already on the third step, and we're about to find the notes of the key of D. All right, so whole step from D to E, and it's asking for a whole step from E to F. Now, step three says make the, whole, make the scale, that would be D, E, F, G, A, B, C, make the scale conform to the whole step half step formula. So if that's the case, D to E is a naturally occurring whole step, but E to F is a half step in the key of C. But for the key of D, they're asking for a whole step between E and F. So what do we do? We raise F up by a half step to make it F sharp. Now if you notice, E to F sharp, because it was increased by a whole step, is now, uh, by a, it was increased by a half step, created that whole step distance between the E and the F. Okay, now we have an F sharp, now we have a whole step. And what's beautiful is that once we create that whole step, now it's asking for a half step between F sharp and G. 
Now F and G is normally a whole step, but F sharp makes it a half step, so it's conforming to the half step over here, okay? Um, now, one question might arise. Well, if I'm going to make a whole step between E and F, why don't I flat the E instead? But the problem is, if I flat the E, it's going to be a half step between D and E flat. So it can't be an E flat, all right? It has to be F sharp. One of the rules of making scales is that all seven musical notes have to be accounted for, and none can be duplicated, all right? So that's why we don't call F sharp G flat. We already have a kind of G in there, so we don't want to call it uh, G flat because G is accounted for. If we call F F sharp, then we have our all seven of our letters accounted for. Okay, so so far so good, I hope. Um, all right, so now we got as far as G, and we're conforming this to, to we're conforming this to the whole step, half step formula, and it's working now. G to A, uh, if uh, G to A is normally a whole step, and it's asking for a whole step, so we got it. A to B is normally a whole step, and it's asking for a whole step, and we got it. B to C is normally, you see the hyphen, it's a half step, and it's asking for a whole step. So what do we do? Do we lower the B? Well, no, because if we lower the B, that'll give us a half step between A and B. So we have to raise the C. So we make C, C sharp. Now we have C sharp, and um, now that's a whole step between B and C sharp, and C sharp to D becomes the half step. So that's pretty easy, right, when you think about it. Now, you could proceed with any keys like this, but let's find out about flat keys now. D is a sharp key, and you notice there's two sharps in it. The only key that has two sharps is D. Um, every key has a unique number of sharps or number of flats. So what we're going to do now is look at a really simple uh, flat key, and that flat key is going to be F. So remember, step one Step one, draw out the musical alphabet to the octave from the note you're choosing. So the note is F, and we go up the musical alphabet, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, like so. And uh, what I want you to always keep in mind is the half steps that come from the key of C. So between E and F, we have a half step or a hyphen. And between B and C, we have a hyphen. So now we're noting where our half steps naturally occur from the key of C. Now, the second step is place the WH formula underneath. A little sloppy, but you get the idea. Whole, whole, half. Whole, 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 half. Second step accomplished. Third step, make the scale, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, conform to the whole step, half step formula. So normally F to G is a whole step, so we're good there. Normally G to A is a whole step, so we're good there. Normally A to B is a whole step, but it's asking for a half step. So do I raise the A to A sharp to get that half step? Well, no, because that's increasing the distance between G and A. That ain't going to work. But... I could lower B to B flat, and then I'll get a half step between A and B. So let's put that flat there. Now I have F, G, uh, I'm sorry, F, G, A, B flat, and we have our half step now. And B to C is normally a half step, but since we flatted it, it's making a whole step very nicely for us between B flat and C. So that is conforming now to the formula. B flat to C is a whole step now. C to D is normally a whole step, uh, D to E is normally a whole step, and then here they're asking, I didn't write it, but they're asking for a half step with the formula. Oh, I did write it. <laughs> I just didn't put the carrot. Okay, so E to F is a half step. Well, that's a naturally occur occurring half step anyway. We see the hyphen between E and F, so we know that. So we can say the key of F contains one flat, and that flatted note is B flat. 
Very, very simple, really. Okay, so, um, and again, I have to stress, um, the key of F has one flat, and that's the only key that has one flat. Uh, each key, again, is identified by the amount of sharps or flats uh, combined. So that's it, how to uh, create a key in three steps. But one thing I didn't address is, well, what about keys that have flat or sharp names in front of them? Now, if you look at the sharp keys around the circle of fifths, you get C, G, D, A, E, B, F sharp. And that's the last one on the list. F sharp is the only key that has the word sharp in it. But when we go around the other side of the circle of fifths to the key of F, yes, the key of F has no flat, no named flat. It's not called uh, F flat, it's called F. But the next key over is B flat. It does contain the flat name in its, um, in its, uh, its actual name. So the rule there is create the musical alphabet but include that flat name for any uh, Bs you would run into. Now we'll do the key of B flat just to demonstrate it. So, we do the alphabet, we start with B flat, and then just go up the alphabet. So we have B flat, C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat. Like so. Ignore this, we're done with that. Um, all right, so B flat, C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat. Now, next step, what is it? Put the whole step, half step formula underneath the letters. W, W, H, W, 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 H. Like so. All right, and uh, all right. So B flat, B to C, oh, let's put the hyphens. Normally B to C would be hyphenated because it's a half step, but it's already B flat. So we've made it a whole step, if that makes any sense at all to you. But E to F haven't been, nothing's happened to that, so we'll put the hyphen there. So B flat to C, yes, it's normally a whole step, so we're good to go. C to D is normally a whole step, so we're good to go. D to E is normally a whole step, but there's an H underneath. It wants a half step. So what do we do? Do we raise the D or lower the E? Think about it. If I raise the D, I'm going to be increasing the distance between C and D. But if I uh, lower the E, then we're going good because D flat to E is indeed a half step. I mean, I'm sorry. Did I say lower the D? I meant lower the E. So uh, D to E flat. All right, gives us a half step, which is what it's asking for. Then normally E flat, E to F is a half step, but it's asking for a whole, so we're good to go there. See, once you make these corrections, the next step corrects itself, which is a really cool phenomenon. Couldn't say why that is mathematically. So E flat to F is a whole step. F to G normally is a whole step. G to A normally is a whole step. And A to B flat, well, A to B is normally a whole step, but it's B flat, so it's conforming to the half step we want over there. That's basically it. Now, what, what we're going to do from here, uh, you know, I hate to do the circle of fifths, but I think I should probably go into that uh, not too long after this. But once we get this down and we understand keys and sharp keys and flat keys and how the circle of fifths came about, then we could get into harmony. And as I said earlier in the, these uh, series of lectures, harmony is the intellectual part. One uh, uh, commenter said, that was cool, but my brain hurts. Yeah, it does. It kind of hurts when you, when you do this. So I recommend before you watch my videos, take an ibuprofen or something like that and then get on with it. All right, so I think I'll call that one short and sweet for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this came out okay. I'm using uh, two recording devices right now, and I'm going to have to learn to overlay videos on each other or splice them in or whatever. So that'll be a fun to look forward to. Anyway, have a good day and talk to you later. Bye.